So I get the question all the time, like what's the difference in being on a team and what's, you know, what's the difference between being on a team and being a solo agent? So I brought some back up in to kind of talk through <laughs> what, uh, what it's like. You know, I wanted to get a little bit from both worlds because Sparks here, y'all know she's been on, uh, she's not new to Love, Faith, and Real Estate, so if you watch <laughs> us, <laughs> would you watch I'm me? You, you can, <laughs> she's just back. So I wanted to bring her in so she can tell you a little bit about how, why she decided to come on as a single agent when she first joined because I recruited Sparkle when we yes. first started at <laughs> Keller Williams. Yep. Right, yep. And so she came on as a single agent and partnered mm -hmm. up with her husband. And so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Okay. So as Tania has said, my name is Sparkle Rattler, Promised Land Realty Group. So when I came into real estate, Tania had a huge influence on me. Um, as my husband and I were starting off in flipping, we were kind of intrigued about the sales side. And so Tania had a conversation with us. Um, like many people do talk with other people when you are interested in getting real estate, you speak to someone who's already where you want to be. And so she was, uh, like I've said many times before, very open and forthcoming and very just helpful. And so um, at the time, she was going over the differences between being a team and a solo agent so for my husband and I at the time we were just getting started in real estate and we were really working on building our brand so this was just gonna be an additional piece to it so after going through um, all of the details with being on the team and what we were building in our investment business it was just beneficial for us to just continue building our brand together as a team um, but I was this close. So, <laughs> um, so that was essentially one of the reasons why we decided to go forth because we were already operating in, in a team atmosphere with our current uh, investment company that we were doing. So. Yeah, yeah. So the benefits really of being on the team is just what she said, you can build your own brand, right? Yeah. And then the thing about it is that you're really starting from scratch though, right? Yeah. That's yeah. The, the con in it, yeah. that you're starting from scratch and you really don't know what, what to, to do, do, how to do it. You gotta build your own systems and create your own leads and marketing. So that's the thing that, you know, comes with being a solo agent. But yeah. if you're down for it, cause Sparks a marketing guru, so she like, <laughs> I can handle it, I got it, we good, you know? So, but that's the thing with it, you know, but the pro to it is for one, branding, you can brand yeah. yourself however you wanna brand yourself. And for two, you can keep all your money. Money. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so that's for the sure. other thing, you know, you get to keep your money, but it's building, like it's really, you're just building from scratch when you're a solo agent, right? And, and I want to speak to that because as you said, you know, at the time when we made the decision that that's what we thought was most best. But looking back at it, I think it would have been more beneficial for us to partner with you as a team because it would have sped everything up. Yeah, you know, that's one yeah. of the major benefits of being on a team is you don't have to figure it out. You're mm -hmm. getting leads, you're going your business, and I mean, it it, we we had to get it out of the mud like we had to learn everything thankfully we had the best mentor ever that we could call <laughs> you know but it still took a lot a lot of resources a lot of investing a lot of time a lot of figuring it out and you know we were blessed to be able to be full-time agents um, and full-time investors all right so let me talk a little bit about a traditional real estate team so usually when you buy into a team it's mm -hmm. um it's because of the culture most of all yeah. and our our culture at Promised Land and Trinity is all centered around God and his yes. principles, hence Promised Land and Trinity, yeah. their name, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but the other reasons you would join a team is because of the, the support you get. You yeah. know, you get support, you get structure, you get systems, mm -hmm. and most importantly, leads, right? Yes, Because yes. <laughs> that's what you need as a new agent coming in, you know, yeah. leads. What, where am I going, what am I going to do, you know? Yeah. So that's one of the reasons, one of the main reasons you join a team so you can get a head start, a boost, right? Yeah. And then we have systems like, you know, support staff, transaction yeah. coordinators, yeah. marketing coordinators, listening coordinators, yeah. you know, everybody that you need to help you. You know, you get your business card supply for you, design yeah. bad pro, uh, what's it called? Spark of Media. Spark of Media. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much everything you need to catapult your career, right? Yeah. You know, like we have created so many prospecting yes. plans and, yes. you know, kind of like, <laughs> Like we we have a follow a CRM follow a boss where you can you know get all your workflows of how to communicate with your clients your leads yeah. your past yeah. clients and all that stuff so it's really nothing to think about or figure out yeah. it's just you get in it and start working so that's pretty much the reason why you would join the team so you can just 
move and not have to put stuff together, yeah. right? And so I wanna speak to what you said because I know earlier uh, I said at the time, going as a solo agent with me and my husband or building our own team was the best decision for us. But hindsight, looking back, mm. it would have been very beneficial to partner up with Tania as a team lead because we didn't know anything yeah. about retail. <laughs> so like she said, all of these things that she's listed, uh, we had to figure them out. And it did cost time and resources and it took a lot of learning lessons. Thankfully, we had the best mentor <laughs> to tap in with, but most of the time, it was a lot of bumping our own head and spending a lot of our own money. Yeah. Um, and so just knowing what I know today, if I could go back, I would definitely join Trinity with, with within a heartbeat because my business would have went further, faster. And so that's something very, very um, important to consider. What What is best for me? You know, it's, it's not wrong for either way, but with what you have going on, what you're trying to build. I mean, we were wearing every hat. Did you hear all of those <laughs> things she listed that you get with being on the team? We was doing it all. So yeah. you can imagine what that felt like. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very, very, very important to go walk into a team that's already set up and flowing. Your business will take off so fast and it, it would be, the money doesn't even matter. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Because that goes into what the con is, you yeah. know, with yeah. being on the team, you know, you have to have splits and you are already under brokerage, right? Yeah. I'm a broker, but I chose, and she's a broker too, but yeah. we both chose to partner with EXP. So we have to play, pay a split. So yeah. anybody that's on our team, they have to pay a split yeah. and then they have to pay a split with us as yeah. well. So that's the thing. You have another split. So you're getting less money, you know, yeah. but you're getting more leads. So it kind of balances out, but that's the kind, you know, that you have to split your money and that you don't get to do your own branding. You know, you're branded under Promised Land or under sure. Trinity or whatever team you join, you're branded under them, right? So that's the thing. Those are the two kinds that I would say. You think yeah. of any other ones? Yeah, no, I think that you covered it. Um, and so even considering those cons, just when you're picking a team, make sure that you believe in their vision. I yeah. know pretty much everybody on our team, like they, they believe in God, they believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. So everyone on our team believes in what we believe in, which is empowering people to build wealth through real estate. So that's important. Yeah, it is very important. So yeah, that's true. But just to double back a little bit, so they don't think we just flying past the cons. Sure. Sure. <laughs> can we talk to them a little bit? Can you give them a look? You the numbers person. So can you get them a little bit on like the breakdown of what they'll pay AXP and then what else comes with that with the split? Okay, absolutely. So with EXP brokerage, you'll have a split of 80-20. If you are a solo agent, then you'll have a cap of $16,000. If you are on the team, then it may vary depending on the production of your team, but it'll vary between eight grand to 4,500. Um, and what that means is that this is what you pay EXP until you cap, until, until you hit those numbers. Um, in addition to that, if you are on the team, then you have your split with your team leader. Uh, and it, again, it's to cover all of those things that you listed before until you hit those numbers. Um, and then you'll have your additional splits with your team leader, mm -hmm. which uh, covers all of those additional benefits from being on the team that Tania spoke about earlier. But that will be determined based on the team that you join. So you would have to ask those questions directly to the team that you're joining. So I think we pretty much cover everything about being on the traditional team. Yeah. So what if you want your cake and you want to eat it too? I really hate that though. I really hate that saying because what's the purpose of having your cake and you can't eat it? Because if it's buttercream icing on it, I'm eating it. <laughs> but for real. Okay, so what if you want the independence of being a solo agent, mm -hmm. but the support from being on a team? Yeah. So that's what we wanted to talk to you about because we got some good stuff under our sleeve. That's what, you know, we've been talking about, like hitting around to elite organization. Mm -hmm. And that's what elite organization is all about. So we both joined EXP because we knew that we wanted to work together, right? We knew the Lord was putting us together. We just didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> but we wanted to work together but be on separate teams because yeah. she's created Promised Land. I got Trinity going. And EXP just meshed all that together yeah. and allowed us the opportunity to work together. So that's where elite organization came from. Spark, tell them a little bit about it. 
So elite organization is the bomb, y'all. So <laughs> let me tell you, uh, a lot of times you see different organizations that focus on just marketing or just retail, but the benefit of elite organization, if you got some heavy hitters, like you have Tania, who has been in real estate for over 18 years, who's been in the investing side of the realm, who's been on the retail side. You also have myself, as well as my husband, who is all about creative financing and investing. And I love marketing. So what we've done is we've created an organization to where when you come in under elite organization, you are getting trained by the best. And instead of um, just getting a little bit of this or a little bit of that, we formed together and partnered because that's how we partner together, mm -hmm. right? We work so good together because yeah. she come in, she has a lot of resources. She, uh, she's a vet. So, I mean, anything I ask her, she already know. And um, my background is in marketing. So if she needs help with that, I help her. And so we want to be able to share those those same benefits to each person that comes into not just on our individual teams but into elite organization yeah. so now if you're an individual agent um, and even those people you bring into your downline they'll have access to all of mm -hmm. these resources yeah so we're super excited yes. about being able to offer some of the same tools we offer our teammates to anyone who comes under us or anyone under us at ESP, yeah. right? So some of the classes and coaching we'll be offering is selling real estate 101, yes. right? Marketing 101, that's, that sparks all day. <laughs> <laughs> team leader tactics, so I've been a team leader for a while, so I'll be teaching different team leaders how to, well, real estate agents, how to become a team leader, okay? And then agent, with investor mindset that's yes. a big one i'm really excited about that one yes. that's gonna be that's gonna be hot yes. and then we're also going to be teaching the art of utilizing virtual assistants mm -hmm. so i've been using virtual assistants for about whoo about four or five years now and they have been out of sight we'll yeah. also be teaching wholesaling creative yep. finance and flipping so you know you'll get more than you would ever get on like just a traditional team yeah you know you won't be able to you know tap right into our follow-up boss and all of our systems like that our marketing coordinator but we'll be able to give you the tools that you need to succeed so mm -hmm. i'm super excited about it yes yes so if you want to see more content like this make sure you like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i drop new content